Alright, what's happening, supplicants? It's me, Paris Hilton's dog, aka Satan. So, uh, I just thought that I would file this extra, uh, report today. Cause, uh, you know, I, I guess this Tom Cruise and Kenny Holden story, this, uh, this ain't going away. This is, uh, it's gonna get freakier, freakier. I mean, I just, uh, I felt compelled. I gotta chime in. Alright, so, so here's the latest. So apparently, Tom Cruise is like huge in Scientology. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not just saying like, you know, he's into it. He's like the number three guy. He's like the, uh, he's like the speaker of the house uh, of Scientology. I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty up there. And because he's up there, it's like he's, he's totally bought into the mumbo jumbo. And, uh, He's got everybody in his life, in his, his uh, what do you call it, a personal universe, is one of these, one of these uh, Scientology freaks. Like, I mean, the real freaky kind. Not like, you know, uh, run mill, goes there, really just into it, the network. Not that kind. Uh, not the, uh, the, the Jenna Elfman kind. I'm talking more of the, uh, like, hardcore, like, like in the Omen, remember when all those, uh, those people were sent to sort of guide Damien through life, and I remember the, uh, remember the, the nanny that hung herself at the birthday party, those are the kinds of people that Tom Cruise has got, uh, you know, doing everything, it's like, I mean, housekeepers, talking about, uh, talking about accountants, lawyers, gardeners, Everybody is one of them hanging myself at your birthday party kind of crazed Scientologists. Okay, so it brings Katie into this whole thing, you know. And Katie's more like the Jen Elfman type. You know, eh, I'm kind of a hippie. People aren't going to be too shocked to find out I'm a Scientologist. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to be like, uh, I'm not going to be, it's not going to rule my world. Okay, so, uh, you know, she's thinking of Marion Tom Cruise. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a bunch of crazy uh, Hollywood sex parties. That's what. That's what probably Katie Holmes thought going into the whole Scientology things. But no. But then she gets married and she's in it, and it starts to get real creepy. Because remember, she's not totally bought into it. And then Tom Cruise, you know, his eyes are like all glassy when he talks about it. You know, it's crazy. So, uh, so anyway, so Tom Cruise. And Katie Holmes, this whole divorce is about the Scientology thing. Now, here's the problem with Surrey. Apparently, Tom wants to send Surrey to one of these, uh, like, Scientology boarding schools where they, like, take kids at, like, four. And Surrey's already six or something. It's called Sea Org. And it's a boat in international waters. And the kids live there. They take the kids away from their parents. And the kids live on this boat. We're all these crazy, I'm going to hang myself at your birthday party kind of Scientology nutbags. And, it's, and Katie went, enough, enough, we ain't doing this. This is, this is insane. Because here's the other piece of uh, little, little dirt I'll let you on. Apparently, Katie's afraid of turning into Nicole Kidman. Remember Tom's, uh, Tom's uh, other wife? Yeah, Katie didn't want to turn into Nicole Kidman. Because apparently, the kids that Tom and Nicole had, the adopted kids, apparently they hate Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman never gets to see her kids. Her kids hate her because she's not a Scientologist. And those kids were like, uh, you know, Tom Cruise Scientologists. It's, this is messed up. Fascinating, though. Fascinating. All right, so what else? Uh, let me see here. So, okay. Uh, so she doesn't want to go to that Sea Org thing. It is a boat that floats around. And it's like a boot camp. And they live there for a year. It's like boarding school. This is crazy. This is insane. All right. Well, I'm yeah, missing it. Yeah, Katie's going around. She ain't wearing a ring. That's good. You know, she's moving on. Gotta, gotta be happy for her. Yeah. Tom, oh, oh, here's, I forgot about this. Tom was apparently blindsided by this. Yeah, apparently he had no idea. And she was making all these moves behind the scenes. Yeah, well, you know, it's like normally I'd be like, bitch. 
But, you know, it's uh, this whole Scientology thing. It makes it a little bit harder for me to just, you know, judge her. I kind of feel for her. Oh, and that's so cute. She is so cute. Oh, that is such a cute, cute kid. All right, that's it. A little special report. Some details, some stuff I've uncovered. Uh, it's not like I know anything because I'm the devil. It's more just, uh, I spend all day in Paris Hilton's bag, looking at People Magazine, watching TMZ Live. That's pretty much my life. So I figure I may as well, uh, may as well share with you folks. All right, that's it. Back in the purse for me. I'm out of here. I am, uh, Paris Hilton's purse dog, backslash the devil. <laughs>